Alright folks, how are we all doing? Welcome back to some more LEGO The Lord of the Rings. This is actually going to be level 6 I'm in hand, which marks a pretty important point in this story, as this is going to mark the conclusion of the first film, The Fellowship of the Ring. So uh, we've got a few achievements here. Let's hunt some orc for completing level. And that is a rare gift, which we'll get to here in a minute. 45,000 true adventure. And you can see, we're going to be grabbing the blacksmith design in this level. I mentioned that in the last one, but hey, let's start with the cutscene. We'll get to all that later. Do you know how the orcs first came into being? They were elves once. Taken by the dark powers, tortured and mutilated. carry something of great value. Bring them to me alive and unspoiled. Kill the others. Saruman. Alright, and here we are, loading in to Middle-earth. Uh, we're actually in a place called uh, Bothlorien, um, which is, um, it's like a, a place where, where some elves live. Not Rivendell, but like a different place. Anyways, as always, gonna be smashing some stuff up with some studs, cause um, you know, you know us. We gotta, you know me, gotta, gotta grab as many studs as we can. Um, but yeah, forty-five thousand for true adventure, and um, yeah, there is an achievement we're gonna be getting in this level. Um, it's actually towards the beginning of the level. Um, what was it? That uh, that is a rare gift. Um, <clears throat> I am planning on making a separate video for that. Um, after this one, but, um, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, you can see we're just making our way through here. All we got to do, basically, is run up to those stairs over there, where that blue arrow is, and that's going to take us into a cutscene, and then, uh, yeah, we'll get to some more gameplay. quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray but a little and it will fail to the ruin of all. Huh? Uh, uh, mm. May these cloaks help shield you from unfriendly eyes. And for you, Samwise Gamgee, elven rope made of heath lime. Thank you, my lady. Farewell, Frodo Baggins. I give you the light of Erendil. May it be a light for you in dark places when all other lights go out. Now here, this is interesting. We're now on some boats, um, rowing through the water here, uh, and all we got to do is just row on through the water until we get between those two statues over there. You can see them where that glowing blue arrow is, and uh, once we're over there, we're going to get into a cutscene, and then uh, the level's going to begin, so uh, that's nice. So uh, yeah, I'll let you watch this, and then begin the level. Cross the lake at nightfall. Hide the boats and continue on foot. We approach Mordor from the north. We should leave now. No. Orcs patrol the eastern shore. 
We must wait for cover of darkness. Where's Frodo? should wander alone you least of all I know why you seek solitude there are other ways Frodo other paths that we might take I know what you would say and it would seem like wisdom but for the warning in my heart warning I ask only for the strength to defend my people if you would but lend me the ring no now here we are inside the level and this is where the um where the achievement is going to come in now it's a bit of a bit of a complicated achievement um in a sense but basically what you have to do is throughout this area you can see we're playing as frodo we're in his like ring mode if you will um and we're trying to make our way up Amenhen, right um this massive like hill uh but you can see boromir boromir is here because uh he wants the ring um for himself but uh frodo can't let him take it uh so basically we need to get to the top of the area without boromir detecting us is, is what we got to do but again i'll i'll do a separate video for that after this one so uh don't worry too much about it. Anyways, um, you can see that at the beginning we had to use a rock to throw to the tree, which um, startled Boromir, causing him to run further up. A bit further up, we got to crawl through this hatch to get up top here, uh, push down this pillar. But um, yeah, if you don't go out of your way to approach Boromir, I mean, the achievement's pretty simple. Um, you know, it's, it's not a hard one to, to miss. And I just thought I'd get it here. Saves doing it later, but uh, anyways, once you push that pillar down, it'll break into some parts. Boromir will run up the stairs as well. You can build those parts into a little ramp which you can run up. But then at the top of these stairs here, we got to smash that rock, uh, which will drop a smaller piece of rock, which we can actually throw up at the stone hand there, causing the finger to break off into some parts. Build them up into into some sort of ramp again and we'll make our way up that uh, you can see a make it actually behind there on the left we'll get that get that later when we come back around for the for the free play which is nice which we are getting to we're a third of the way through story so still still 12 more levels but i mean we're, we're kind of getting there uh yeah still still a while to go but uh, anyways once you push those statues down boromir will continue running up the area so we can make our way uh, across here, where we got to smash up some of these trees and rocks, and that'll drop some more, some more parts, um, which we can actually build up into, uh, into like a little catapult here, which is which is nice. Um, so yeah, we'll build that up uh, into a catapult. Then we just got to smash that little, little panel there, um, and that'll cause the, the rock to go flying up at that. Statue's helmet causing it to roll on down, and then uh, Boromir will uh, once again be startled and, and run away. So, um, yeah, just doing some more, some more smashing, some more bashing, um, taking stuff out, make sure to get more sides because, uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's really the most important thing to be doing right now, getting studs. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna make our way over that fallen little tree there, pick up that stone, throw it up at the tree there. You can see, um, Getting dangerously close to Boromir there, but but again, if you approach him, I think there's like he'll try to like fight you for the ring, uh, and all you got to do is complete like a little quick time again. But yeah, you will miss the achievement if you approach him, obviously. Anyways, a little bit further up the level, uh, we got to smash that uh, rock there to drop a little stone, which we can throw up at the tree there to drop that nest down, and then we can rebuild the parts into um into some stairs here which fold out uh, like so make our way up and then we're going to push this statue down um and then they'll go toppling over boromir will once again get scared off and we can actually run up these statues and up in this little crevice here we can smash these bushes and look at that two blues and a purple very nice definitely recommend you pick those up because uh, i mean no reason not to and it's just gonna 
just going to give you more studs, which is what we want at the end of the day. Anyways, a little bit further on, crawl through this hatch, and this is actually where the achievement is going to ring off. So uh, once we're up here, smash up these, uh, smash up that debris, and that'll drop a little stone, which we can pick up, and uh, we'll throw it up at the gargo there, which will scare Boromir up one last time, and uh, it'll, the achievement will pop, which is nice. So uh, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, three, two, there you go, look at that, that is a rare gift, um, which is probably something that Boromir said or someone said at some point in the movies. But uh, now we actually have gained control back with our legs, and we can run around freely rather than walking at s a snail's pace like we were before. Um, and yeah, we just got to make our way to the top of this hill, you can see those stairs in the back, we got to head up those, and then, um, we actually have a little encounter with uh, with the eye, the eye of Sauron here. Uh, just complete this little button mashing, button mashing task here, and then we got a very, very short cutscene, and then uh, we'll be playing as um, as Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, which is nice. So uh, yeah, I'll let you watch this little cutscene and then a bit more gameplay, of course. <laughs> As promised, a very, very short little cutscene, almost just a cinematic little scene. Um, but yeah, now here we are on the beach, playing as Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli, as I promised you. But uh, anyways, on the right, we have to smash those, um, oh, what's the word, the, the oars, I guess? Um, and then we'll actually be able to pick up the, the like, tip of the, the oar there, and we can use it as a torch to... Uh, light it on fire, then we can light the wood over here on fire, um, burn down those toppled trees, uh, so we can smash our, smash our way through, and then, um, yeah, some free play stuff over there, which we'll get to, of course, in due time, but, um, anyways, a little bit further up this hill, we'll use Legolas, uh, to jump up top with his, with his fox, um, and then we can actually walk up this, like, vine here, uh, or, um, whatever it is. Yeah, I guess it's some sort of vine. Um, then shoot that bird's nest up top, and that'll drop down. Breaking into some parts, uh, which here in a minute will build up into a, a little trampoline that uh, Gimli and Aragorn can get up, because obviously they don't have the same, um, they don't have the same hops as Legolas. Legolas is just built different, man. So, um, yeah, swap down to these guys, build up the little uh, trampoline, you know, little just bouncy thing. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, then, once up top, use Gimli over here, smash the crack, smash, and then um, we'll be able to make our way over the little fallen tree. Now, I, I'm quite a fan of Legolas. I like um, his using his arrows to take things out because um, the studs just automatically work. You automatically collect them, like you don't have to physically pick them up. For for some things, yeah. I am immediately disproving that by smashing that rock. But yeah, you, you get it. Um, anyways, um, throw Gimli up at that crack on the statue there, and uh, we'll get back to that here in a minute. But um, anyways, after smashing some more things, um, I guess the the arrows don't work too well on rocks, which, I mean, I guess makes sense, to be fair. But uh, in the middle there, um, in the middle of that checkered path, smash the crack with Gimli by doing, like, a jump slam with his axe. And then we can build some parts into a little, um, a little pillar there, um, which we try to push along the path, but there's some sort of, like, rubble in the middle there that's not allowing us to push, um, push it further. But um, that other pillar up top that you can like see half of it up there um, on that higher ledge. We're going to get up there with Legolas by jumping on top of this statue here that we um, broke open by throwing Gimli at it before. Then I'll shoot an arrow into the head of that statue over there. And then I uh, then use Legolas um, to swing across. Legolas definitely proving to be one of the more useful characters in this game, which is nice because you know, I like Legolas. But uh, anyways, once on that high ledge, push down that other pillar, that taller one. Then, what we can do is we can push these two pillars um, into this back left corner, um, right below that um, that uh, higher path up there. 
and uh, push them together so that you can actually use them to get up top. Then um, once you're ready, you can jump up top. Um, and uh, yeah, this is what I was saying about Legolas. When you shoot these like bushes, the studs automatically get into you. Very nice. And we're about to hit the 45k right about now. Just a few more studs. There you go, True Adventure. So uh, we are six for six so far with True Adventure. Hopefully, we can keep that streak alive. I don't know if we will though. Um, we might. Who knows? Uh, anyways, a um, little bit further up, we skimly smash the crack on that tree, causing it to topple over. Then um, shoot some more bushes, and um, a little further along there, you can see. Go to use Gimli, throw them up at the crack, um, and that'll uh, smash those pillars up top. And uh, also drop some parts, which you can build into some sort of like arrow slot. Shoot an arrow into it, then I uh, use Legolas to jump up to it. Then um, we can swing across that blue stud, which is nice. Um, and then once up top on this higher area, we um, basically have to build up a small little pillar, which will push down the checkered path. And then that will allow Aragorn to get up top here, who we need to use. But uh, first, of course, going to do a little bit of smashing. Uh, now you might have noticed a few of these like statues along the way here. Uh, you can see there's one kind of right behind us there, uh, which we do actually shoot it. And you can see one of six that is going to be for a mini kit. But um, as I've been saying, uh, saving those for the for the free play. But um, but yeah, um, which also brings me to we are going to be getting the blacksmith design in this level. I know I mentioned that, but I just thought I'd bring it up again. It's right towards the end of the level, so get to that one when we do but uh, anyways jump up top here is Aragorn and we have to actually use him to uh, track down uh, Frodo so we have to use him to follow these footsteps um, this is an ability only Aragorn has and we'll be using it quite frequently throughout free play anyways we got a little cuts in here and then uh, another area so uh, yeah Frodo where is the ring it has taken bar man Would you destroy it? I would have gone with you to the end. Go, Frodo. Run! And now we're loading into a new area, still playing as Legolas and uh, Aragorn, Gimli. Um, and you can see here. Uh, we've got to smash these pillars, which will drop the kind of uh, like platforms that the Urukai were standing on. Then we can uh, bash them up. And uh, on the high right side there, you can see there was a there was another Urukai uh, chilling up on that higher ledge. We have to use Legolas to shoot him down because uh, he's out of range for us to just attack him straight on. Also, you did see uh, we did save real quick on the left there. Uh, Recommend you do the same if you don't want to have to redo this whole level over again. Um, but uh, then, a little further in the area, we can uh, smash another, like, one of those platforms. Take out the Urukai then on the left side. Shoot that Urukai with Legolas. And then, um, on the right, some Urukai are going to smash through the, the, like, barrier over there. Um, so we can head through uh, over the right there. Um, where we can see a bunch more Urukai. So, um, to start, we're going to pick up Gimli, throw him at that crack there. Um, again, making more progress with that achievement for throwing Gimli 30 times. Then, um, we're going to shoot those two Urukai on the high left side with, uh, with our Legolas. Then, um, once they're taken out, we can head up this, head up that ramp, take this Urukai out. Then we'll drop below, take out that last Urukai. Then got another cutscene, and then uh, actually a boss battle, so that's nice. The Horn of Gondor. What on me? Now here we are, loading into a boss battle, as promised, pretty epic battle to end off this first film. In the back left corner here, we're going to use 
Pippin or Merrick to crawl through the hatch. And now you can see when we crawl through, there's a statue on the right there. Smash it up and then it'll drop the blacksmith design. Make sure to pick it up. Be sure to collect that. Because if you don't, well, you're a little bit screwed. And I'll explain that all when we get into uh, actually the free play for this level. Um, but yeah, just, just collect it now and it'll all make sense later. Anyways, um, you can see there, there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a cutscene, but it's like five seconds long, so, yep. Uh, then after that, um, got some, got some Urukai to take out. Then we gotta head back to that back left corner. And back to the back left corner. Anyway, smash up those little boulders. Then we'll be able to crawl back through the hatch as Pippin or Mary again. Either will work. Um, then once back up here, we gotta damage this orc again a little bit more. And if you did miss the blacksmith, you do have another shot at it. Uh, if you missed it that first time, but it's super easy to collect. Anyway, smash up that Urukai a bit more. And then he'll throw you down. Another short little cinematic here. Um, you know, I decided not to like, you know, I just, I, I'm just going to talk through it because it's, it's like 10 seconds long, you know, you didn't need a, you know, anyways, um, anyways, uh, after that, uh, some Urukai are going to barge down from the high right side and drop that tree down with them, which will break into some parts, which, um, we'll head over there after smashing up the Urukai, then, um, yeah, yeah, also you saw that we can actually smash up after you save, um, there's actually a little, like, uh, flower that you can smash for some extra souls, which is nice. Anyways, jump up that board, smash the Urukai, and I think we got another cutscene here. So yeah, you know, that, that was a bit more of a, like, proper, longer cutscene. So I, I, I'd let you watch that one. I'd let you watch that one. On your own. But anyways, once you get back into the swing of things, you're playing as Aragorn and Boromir. Boromir is, of course, a bit hurt, because the, the Uruk has been shooting arrows into him, but uh, they've really been bananas and brooms. But uh, anyways, um, when you load into the into this section of the boss battle, the Uruk is going to throw down his shield, will get stuck in the ground. Then when he jumps down to retrieve it, you got to damage him a bit. Then, after he throws his sword a few times and you take out some Urukai, after a little bit of waiting, he'll throw down his shield. Then he'll come down to retrieve it. And at that point, just smash him up. Then I think we got to go through that one more time. You can see here, you can play as Boromir, but he is a little bit slower because he is damaged. Um, so like, hurt, I guess. Um, don't know if damage is the right word. But uh, anyways... Third time's the charm, after he throws his shield down for a third time here, any second now after he's finished throwing his stupid swords. Um, but here we go, throwing his shield down, actually killed Boromir there. A little bit of, bit of foreshadowing. <clears throat> Anyways, um, once he jumps down, damage him a bit. Then he's actually going to pick you up, so swap to your other character, then just damage him a bit. Then he'll pick up that character, swap to the other one, damage him. Then he'll pick you up, swap through the other character, damage him one last time, and then cut They took the little ones. He's down. Frodo, I tried to take the ring from him. The ring is beyond our reach now. I do not know what strength is in my blood, but I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Nor our people fail. Our people. No. I would have followed you, my brother. My captain. My king. No. No. 
Sam. Oh. Come on. And there you have it. Another lengthy level in the books. Let's hunt some orc. Um, again, that's just for completing the level. I'm in hen. Uh, now in the books and uh also speaking of in the books that is going to do it for the first film so uh yeah a third of the way through this game it's um definitely exciting but there is still a lot more to do that is for sure and as you can see some characters available to buy later a couple studs added to the collection um true adventure we got as well and now uh, here we go this is the main thing blacksmith design on that for the mithril rope again i'll explain all that a little bit later but um, it all makes sense in due time. But there you go. Got a few mithril bricks. This time we got three instead of two because uh, the design got us an extra mithril brick. But hey, we're going to check out a quick cutscene uh, to end off this film and then uh, I'll get to an outro. No. <sighs> <sighs> no. No. Frodo's fate is no longer in our hands. We will not abandon Merry and Pippin to torment and death. Let us hunt some fork. <sighs> Mordor. I hope the others find a safer road. Strider will look after. Sam, I'm glad you're with me. And here we have some credits um, as they scroll for a bit. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Um, that was level six. I'm in hen uh, in Lego The Lord of the Rings. That's going to do it for, for this one. Um, again, do be sure to stay on the lookout for a um, video for the that is a rare gift achievement. I'll probably literally do that like right after this one. Like I'm going to go do it like now as I'm recording this audio. But um, yeah, until the next one, I'll see you folks later. And uh, yeah, see you folks. Bye.